Yeah. <sighs> Much better. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Sheka Kapow Christmas. The show where we talk about comic books and all sorts of geeky stuff, and where we eat weird candy. And we play with toys. No, no, we don't play with toys, KH. We showcase some cool action figures. Yes, they're not toys. Okay. So, what are we doing in today's episode, you ask? I'll tell you. First, we're gonna eat some more weird candy. Yeah. Well, uh, I found this box outside in a dumpster. So, yeah. Thought I'd check it out. So these are what we in Norwegian call kokosmakroner. And directly translated to English, that would be like cocoa macaronis. Or maybe Christmas macaroni. Yeah, let's try some Christmas macaroni. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. These are still fresh. Hmm. I'll get back to you. Okay. What else have we got? We got more weird candy. So, a friend of mine who lives in a shelter gave me these for Christmas. And these are called Rampenisso. So, that would mean um, naughty Santas. Yeah. So, we have some naughty Santas here. So these aren't getting any presents from Santa. Okay. So. <sighs> yeah. It's foam Santa. We got more foam Santa. Oh well. Let's try them. Going down. Hmm. Not bad. These are actually... A lot better than the other foam Santa. The regular foam Santa is not as good as this one. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. But there's more. There's more. Indeed. We have more naughty Santas. This guy. This is like even... This guy is even more naughty because it's like naughty chocolate Santa. Okay, let's give it a go. Hmm. That was very delicious. Hmm. Hmm. Give me a second. Mm. Let's go have some Christmas coffee. Ah. Okay, okay. So, KH, you're just gonna eat candy and drink coffee in today's episode? Is that it? No. We have something very interesting for today's episode. And as you guys might have guessed, there's a running theme this Christmas. I'm kind of hooked on Spawn. And we've done um, the unboxing video of this cool dude over here. And we did a review on King Spawn. So, in today's episode, we're going to do more Spawn. We are going to take a look at this bad boy right here. And this is Gunslinger Spawn. Yeah. Okay. So, <sighs> Gunslinger Spawn is probably my favorite of all the Spawn characters. I also really like Medieval Spawn, but and of course Al Simmons, regular Spawn. But there's something very special about this character. Now, a lot of people think this is a new Spawn character, but he's actually, uh, 
he actually shows up in the original run. But he gets like a nice little cameo in this one. And I'm really glad that he's gotten his own comic book. So, yeah. Okay, before we continue, let's do the usual stuff. So this is uh, Gunslinger Spawn, Volume 1, by Todd McFarlane and Brett Booth. Uh, Brett Booth is the illustrator. And, of course, this is a comic book published by Image Comics. This is so cool. I love the illustrations. I think I actually ugh, like the illustrations here in Gunslinger Spawn even more than King Spawn. I mean, look at that. That is just awesome. All right, all right, all right. So, Gunslinger Spawn. Yeah. The thing is, there are so many really cool characters in the Spawn comic books. And now, as I said in the King Spawn episode, it seems like they're focusing on building the Spawn universe, which is really cool. I'm all for it because there are just so much to do with this universe and there's so many cool characters and it's a very interesting concept and as I also said in the last episode it was so fun to read this comic book in a time where I kind of feel like a lot of comic books are just all the same this was very fresh and the same goes for this one this feels kind of more old school because Gunslinger Spawn is like this Clint Eastwood uh, Badass Wolverine Punisher, yeah, Punisher kind of character in this universe. And it's not just his personality, um, he is like this lone gunman and he's out for vengeance and he's gonna avenge his family. And then he gets kind of thrown into the future and into our time, so he's very much a fish out of water. He doesn't understand technology and he doesn't understand how society works. So all of that makes for a lot of cool, funny situations. But I also like his, um, this Spawn character is very interesting also because he's not as powerful as the regular Spawn. Probably not as powerful as Medieval Spawn either. He must be the weakest of all the Spawn characters. And that... Uh, makes things a lot more interesting because you actually you're very invested in all the stuff that is going on and whenever he's in a fight he uh, he has to be very smart he has to kind of try to um, find some good strategies to even the battlefield and make use of his like all his abilities and his wits to fight these other demons and more powerful creatures. Yeah, I'm not going to say too much about the story. He's kind of, as I said, thrown into our time and he meets this human kid and uh, it's a good team up and stuff. Ha yeah, there's a lot of stuff that happen. Uh, you, of course, uh, this ties into the other comic books I've mentioned. So if you're going to read these new ones, I mean, of course, you should read the old run beforehand, but uh, as I didn't finish the old Spawn comic book run, and I jumped on this one because there's, I mean, if you're not motivated to start on a 300 issue comic book run, as I said, you can probably just jump on this one. And if you like this, maybe that'll motivate you to go back and read the old stuff. Uh, I'm definitely going to go back and reread the whole old Spawn run. But the order you should read these new ones is you should start with King Spawn. Then I would say Gunslinger Spawn. 
and after that you can uh, check out the team up the spawn avengers spawn uh, universe the scorched comic book which is also really cool um yeah so that would be the order of how to read these new comic books okay gunslinger spawn really cool um i totally love this comic book both of these are amazing you should start with this one then check out this yeah give it a go okay that does it so thanks for stopping by guys and um stick around for more videos in december i was planning to do way more than i've had time to do but uh yeah don't lose all uh hope there's still time we're gonna do some more cool stuff here on the channel okay thanks for watching take care and i'll see you next time check a kapow The delicious violence. That's what we want. That's what we're here for. Look at that. So cool.